Hey up everyone, Mac Panda and Zero One here, and in today's video I'm doing another tips guide for Horizon Zero Dawn. Now in my first video that was put together using various sources across the internet, websites, videos that I'd watched of people that had early access to the game. Obviously at the time I didn't have the game so I couldn't put no video footage to the tips that I was giving you. But now that I have the game I'm going to redo that video and show you some of the things that I was actually explaining within that video. First off, one of the things that I went into was gathering everything that you see, and as you can see, you've got thing, you've got these little triangles dotted around these highlight things that you can gather, and you've just got to take everything that you can get, everything you find, gather it, collect it. If you don't need it, you can sell it at one of the merchants. You know, it's it all comes in useful at the end of the day. So don't pass anything up because sometimes you never know; it might be something that you really need. Just what she said. <laughs> Next one up is this. It is the long grass that you see in front of you. It's kind of ready, wavy grass. You get patches of this all over, and this is very, very useful for ducking out of the way of enemies. Once you go into it, if you look at the top of the screen, you see that you just get a small white line. This basically means that you're invisible to the enemy. They won't see you. And it doesn't matter how close they get, they don't actually see you, so you can get right up to them if they walk just past the grass. As soon as you stand up, it becomes an eye, and this means that you can then be visible to enemies and people walking by. So it's always useful to hide in the grass. If you're trying to get away from something, it can camouflage you, so it can lower your detection rate. So yeah, it comes in useful. The next one up is tagging your enemies, and this is done by pressing the right free bumper and this will give you this purple um, sphere which surrounds you. If you then put your reticle over an enemy and press R2 you can then tag that enemy. Once they're tagged they will stay on your screen so you can see exactly where they are when they go behind a rock or something like that you can still see them so you can follow their patterns where they walk. Again, collect everything that you can from these. Whenever you come across a herd like this, don't pass up the opportunity to kill them and gather re what resources you can from them. Again, if you collect too much or you can't carry it, then go to a merchant, sell what you don't need, keep what you do. It all comes in useful at the end of the day. The next one up is your ability to roll out of the way of things that are coming after you. Do this by pressing your circle key and you can jump out of the way. Compose yourself ready for another attack. It's very useful for when they get close, it just gives you that opportunity to get out of the way really quick and save your ass basically. The next one is while you're using your focus, you're able to track, tag your enemies and you're able to track where they walk. So these ones, they're sort of like, um, I don't know what you actually call them, but they circle the head, looking after it, and you can work out exactly where they are and where they're going to walk. So if you haven't got any ammo, for instance, you need to get past them, you can work out where they're going and you're able to get past them. You just start your focus and then highlight them, press R1. And as you can see, it gives you their track there. This one's clearly well off his track at the moment. But that is usually where he would work, walk, he'd just go around in that circle there and you'd be able to work away past him or work out the best time with which to take him down. I don't want a bad kill that actually. Again, loot them for everything they've got because you never know it when it'll come in useful. Another one for the long grass is if you need to get in it really quick, you can run at it. Press square and you'll just slide into it then. So it's quicker getting into it than walking over or running over and then pressing crouch. You can just slide into it and you're all sorted then. You want to make sure that you kill as much wildlife as you can. These will give you the skins with which you need 
to um, increase the capacity of your pouches, your carrying capabilities, you'll be able to carry a lot more then. And that's important when you're going to be looting pretty much everything you come across. And that is pretty much all I've got for you today. I don't think I covered everything that I covered in the first video. There's the ability to um, override the machines, use them to battle your fights, and there is the ability to ride them. I haven't got that far yet. I haven't got that ability. From what I'd read and what I'd been led to believe, you get it quite early on in the game. And to be fair, I'm still early on in the game and I haven't got it yet. So, But I've really only played around two hours of the game so far so I'm assuming that I'll get that ability pretty soon if I get it pretty soon I'll do a video on that and uh, yeah that's all I've got for you today folks if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I shall catch you in the next one take care